Mike Rowe knows a thing or two about blue collar jobs. Hosted Dirty Jobs, created the Mike Rowe Works Foundation, which works to close the skill gap. Host of the Way I Heard It podcast. Good to see you, Mike. Thank you. Um, you know, we're always told that Generation Z is lazy and wants to smoke pot and sit in coffee shops. This data would seem to contradict that. <laughs> Look, man, we paint with such a broad brush in this country nowadays on virtually every topic. You could go down the list and uh, sure, Gen Z is an easy target and we've all heard the stories of an eroding work ethic. I tell those stories often, but I was really heartened by that article in the journal. In fact, I shared it online because my foundation has been beating this drum for the last 16 years. For every five tradespeople who retire, two replace them. And it's been that way now for over a decade, and that's some really bad math. At the same time, the cost of college has gotten exponentially more expensive, more so, in fact, than any other important thing, more than real estate, more than food, more than energy. Nothing, Leland, in the history of Western civilization has become more expensive more quickly than a four-year degree. So we've had this crazy tension in our in our workforce and in our educational system for a long time. And Gen Z got the memo. We're, we're seeing lots of people affirmatively go toward trade schools away from massive educational debt onto a path that looks an awful lot like prosperity if you can master a skill that's in demand. Look, in supply and demand, right? Five, five retiring, two taking their places, that means that pay um, goes up. Of all places, Gen Z's learned about this on TikTok. Take a listen. What can a typical elevator mechanic make in a year? Easily over 100000 Um My friend right now, he is currently working at the SpaceX uh, Starbase site. He's a master electrician, and right now he's making almost $180,000 a year. It's going to vary depending on the ski resort that you're at, but I bet you could get anywhere from well, 35 to, to 40 uh, dollars an hour. All right, so Mike, the, the difference though, you've got an economic divide in America, you sort of have a class divide in America. Did the folks who are now taking these trade jobs up, even though they're making good money, master electrician, $180,000 a year, some you know, roughnecks, $100,000 a year and more, are, are they staying with working class traditional values or joining the values and politics of shall we say, the elites who are making similar money? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Um, I don't want to paint with too broad a brush, but my foundation specifically awards work ethic scholarships because we don't want to start the conversation simply with qualifications uh, or with grade point averages or with whatever your pedigree is. We want men and women who are enthused about showing up early and staying late and distinguishing themselves. That's a very unattractive narrative by and large today. The media just doesn't know what to do with it. And a lot of people feel like it's rooted in some kind of rapacious capitalism or goofy exploitation. It's not. It's the oldest recipe in the world for success. And the 2000 people that my foundations assisted all have that gene in common. They work. They'll go to where the work is. And that those videos are instructive, but I talk to people, welders every day who are making close to $200,000. Plumbers, steam fitters, pipe fitters, electricians, to your point. But it's a, it's a rung, you know, and it's not a bottom rung. The stigmas and the stereotypes that keep people from exploring these careers have been a huge problem in our country. And they're starting to erode the idea that that diploma on your wall is something other than a receipt is starting to take root and people are beginning to hold colleges i think a bit more accountable it's like turning a, a super tanker around at sea these attitudes these perceptions around the trades it takes time but i've been doing it for 16 years and i've never been as encouraged as i am right now Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.